Hi, I'm Paulina Mir, and I'm a vocal performer and holistic vocal coach. And I would like to introduce you today to a quiet, unique vocal technique coming from Middle Eastern Europe and deeply connected with traditional folk music. This, what you heard, was a sample of white singing or white voice or traditional singing. There's like many contemporary names describing this specific vocal technique. So why are we calling this white voice or white singing? So just because of the impression of brightness and like huge resonance, which you could provoke with your voice while calling so loudly. But of, of course, this term is not formal. Like there are people using it, there are people using another term, for example, traditional singing. So just remember there's like a lot of diversity if just describing this kind of singing, just like there are many, many examples of this kind of singing uh, in different regions, in different villages, and also represents by different singers. So this, what I'm representing, I will call rather like row voice. I really like this term, row voice. It's just when you imagine yourself in open field, going through the space with your voice and calling your friend or just calling out the clouds, the trees or animals. And it will be something like, hey, hey, hey. So this technique is based on an open throat. And then we have a lot of space to, this, to create this really strong vibration. And of course, what is really important here, it's like correct diaphragmatical breathing as well. So you need to be aware how to use your diaphragm in the breathing process. The song I prepared for you today, it's a traditional song from Southeast Poland and it's um, telling the story about the girl waiting for her lover and future husband. And the song is telling how she prepared the room, how, she, uh, how she's cleaning, how she's planting some flowers in the garden. And then her lover is coming and visiting her. So I would like you uh, to learn first couplet of this song and I will repeat it just a few times so we can get used to this uh, melody and just get more familiar with the Polish language, archaic Polish language, which could be not so easy, but with practice we can get there. So how to get there, how to produce this kind of sound, which is so strong and so loud. It's really possible to warm up your voice enough to go with this sound energy in a healthy way. So the basic technicality behind that is like you getting your chest voice, which is like, uh, uh. this is like really low and strong voice. And you just take this somehow and pull it up to your head voice. So then you have something like, uh, uh. so I keep this, throat opening because otherwise I will do something like but this is not a shouting it's not a calling anymore so I keep the resonance and I keep the strength just to be up but be strong and be resonating something like try this maybe and the proper feeling is like the sound ball. It's just getting through your throat and getting outside. Like you will feel this resonance just getting out of your body through your mouth. And also you'll feel vibration in your throat and in your mouth. So this is good feeling and you need to feel absolutely relaxed with your throat. It cannot be any tension out there. And of course, what is really important, like the good support with your breathing and you need to go after diaphragmatical breathing in this case. You cannot do anything without proper breathing. So first thing to do, it's not the loud singing, but just focus on the small details in your body and try to find some relaxation in your neck 
in your shoulder and just breathe calmly to get into connection with your body. It's really important to root your body, to feel the gravity and really just feel, yes, I'm standing. I feel like I'm feeling my body. I'm feeling my energy, you know? So this is the first state, like really to get this energy from rooting yourself because then you can really transfer it for open, loud voice. Let's have together a few deep inhales. Try to observe the movement of your diaphragm while we go to this breathing exercise. And what is diaphragm? This is a muscle separating your lungs area from your stomach area. And the proper diaphragmatical breath is when, during the inhale, diaphragm is getting it's pulled down. It's just making space for the air in your lungs. And then, during the exhale, the diaphragm is really in relaxing mode going up again. So when I'm taking breath in, my diaphragm is getting down and I'm taking breath out. She's pulling up really relaxed way, no effort. So try to focus on this movement and try to just scan your body somehow to find this diaphragmatical movement because it will help you a lot to just get into the proper breathing. So place one of your hands on your chest and another on the area of your belly, um, just somewhere under your chest. There is like, there is the place of your diaphragm. And you can close your eyes, but really go with your attention inside and try to take few deep, calm inhales together with me. Good. Of course, you can be in this exercise longer and just observe how your breathing mechanism is working out there and just search for your diaphragm and uh, be in contact with her. So um, this is the basic, like without proper breathing, it's impossible to get into this kind of powerful voice. It's really impossible. So this is the first step to get um, and then we can go up to the next levels. So another step to warm up is just to focus on your mouth and throat and to make some relaxation and to feel good with loud sound. And I propose for that really nice exercise. I call it a frog and it looks like so the idea is like from the small mouth, you go into the really big mouth and you open your mouth really widely and don't be afraid of this flat nosy sound. This is exactly what we're searching for. So go after it and this sound could be really annoying. It's okay. It's just an exercise. Let's do a few times this frog. <laughs> Yes, and then each time you can just make your mouth a little bit smaller and then feel how the sound is shaping. Okay, one more time. Mm -hmm. 
yowing. Yowing is supernatural exercise. You can already start when you're waking up in your bed. And this exercise open your throat exactly in the way we need while singing uh, using the white voice. So if you think yowing, it's just working out there. If you think yowing and you see me, maybe you'll just feel like you want to yow yourself. If not, just try to imagine you yowing. So try to feel this super open throat and this ball of sound because it's really good exercise when you add some sound in that. Just like, imagine you now the lion, lion or a cat just yowing with this full, full open mouth. This is, this is what we want here, okay? And just remember this feeling of this full open throat because this is the basic, what we're talking about in here. And then let's go after this yowing even more. Let's dig a little bit more into this quality. From yowing to open calling, this is what we will do next. I will start from yowing again and just do it with me. And we're opening more and more and being more and more loud, okay? <laughs> This exercise I recommend to do outside because then you really feel the space and you will feel your voice out there, how it's resonating with the space. And this is also really good, like you feel how small your voice could be like outside there and to have this impression how the space is eating your voice. But then you also can go into some kind of, you know, resonance with it and make it more and more loud to just hear yourself better in this acoustic area you will choose. Okay, that was just a small introduction how you can warm up your voice before trying to white singing. But of course you can do it longer. There are also many other exercises you can do to warm up properly your voice. So now we will get to the song and I will just repeat a small portion, small samples of it because this Polish language could be quite complicated for you uh, at the first sight, but then just bravely go after it if you feel that you like the song and you like the flow of the song. Okay, so ready? <laughs> Okay, and then I will just jump into another part of this verse. Nie zamieciono, nie zamieciono, nie zamieciono. And we put together these two parts. And now we will just jump to another line and I will just sing it at once, but a few times. Drobnej kalie. 
ne nie nasadzone o drobne kalene nie nasadzone o drobne kalene nie nasadzone o and the last part which is really archaic refrain. It's quite simple one. Listen. You already heard that. <laughs> so this is the end. And now let's go through the whole couplet with the refrain together. This is it. You can, of course, practice more and you can go. I recommend that go to the open field with that and just feel your voice out there in the nature somewhere in the open space. But remember, this is really important to warm up your voice properly. This is really powerful sound quality. And if you're not properly warm up, you can really break your voice and you can lose your voice. <laughs> so um, I don't want to scare you, of course, but it's really important to get into your body, you know, to just really get rooted and then get in contact with your natural uh, breathing, really deep breathing using your diaphragm and then go for this emission exercises. And when you really feel comfortable with this loud shouting quality, then go for the song, you know, because you need to remember about these levels. And of course, it's really individual case, like how comfortable you feel with your voice and with your loud voice, because the really important aspect, it's sometimes it's just like mentally attitude, which is blocking you to really be loud out there. So I recommend to dig a little bit where you have your blocks and where are some small problems and your comfort zones to just cross. And this is where you can start your own journey to just discover your full, loud, super strength voice. So have fun. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this bye this bye was like hi. <laughs>